and we are off and underway. I would not want to be brave enough to try and guess who's going to take this one because it really could be any one of these 10 athletes. And how many times can you say that in a final of this magnitude? Coming up towards the halfway point, no surprises that I.R. Barkeet leading the way in one of the higher classifications of S13. Of course, this really ranges right from the bottom of multi-class classifications at S1 with Isitak Mamistavilov in lane 7 and up to S14 Jordan Catchpole in lane 3, Thomas Hamer in 4 and Jack Thomas in 6 are in that classified bracket but here in the one below, I.R. Bocchi showing exactly why he was a gold medalist in Rio. 51.3 is his time. And we uh, wait and see if that's a world record. The answer is no. Will it be enough for the gold, though? 937 for him. No one is currently beating that. Uh, however, just saying that, in lane four, Thomas Hamer, 970, manages to get his way into the gold medal position there, Thomas Hamer. And it's uh, so close to a world record, but he's just missed out by 0.11 seconds. Could not have been closer there. So now it's down to Iztak Mamistolov, who holds the world record in the S1 category with a time of 2.15.83. He could be on course for that here. Just having a, a look now at how far away he is from the finish. It's around 20 metres or so. So if he carries on going at this pace, then he may push it all the way. Earlier on, he got a time of 2.29.26. He has to beat 900. And 70 points. Thomas Hamer is the one leading the way. Can... Ushtak Mamistelov overcome that. It looks like he's slightly waning away coming towards the finish. And he won't get the gold. Can he get a spot on the podium? The answer will be no because the buffer is 900 set by Andre Brazil. But what a class field we've seen there. Topped off by Ishtak Mamistelov coming off in 10th. And that completes a wonderful... A final. A pleasure to watch that. Thomas Hamer coming out on top. He was a fraction away from a new world record. He did get an area record for his efforts. And more importantly, he gets the gold as well with 970 points. Ayaboki in second on 937.